What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video, and I already know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, last video didn't have a face cam intro. What's going on with Chaos? I know what you guys did already too. You saw that it went right into the video, you clicked out, you said, mm, no like, no nothing, I'm not watching this video. Well, I got you guys covered today. We got a face cam intro. Guys, I'm doing something a little bit new with the channel. Uh, so we're late in the year for Madden 19, so there's not really many tips for me to give you guys as far as Madden tips. I gave you guys tips pretty much all year. Everything's pretty much known now, so I'm going to be focusing on gameplay for the next couple months or so. Madden 20, you guys already know. We're back to tips and gameplays. Always got to do both. Can't just do tips or, or just can't do gameplays. But for now, we're focusing on gameplays considering the fact that it's so late in the year. Today, I'm bringing you guys a weekend league game. It's a really, really good game. And... If you guys haven't checked out my community posts, make sure you guys check that out because I'm talking about all the different type of gameplays that I'm going to be bringing you guys. I mentioned them in there, but it's regs, money games, mutt games, weekend league, house rules, salary cap, whatever. If you guys want anything in particular, uh, go in there, let me know what you guys want, put a comment in there, and I'll try to make it happen. But if you guys could, man, I'm just going to sell off for a second. Make sure you guys check out the description below for my ebooks. I give you guys my full offense, my full defense. During these gameplays, if you think I'm doing a good job and you guys are interested in doing the same thing, make sure you guys check that out. And lastly, man, I just want to thank you guys for being such great viewers to me. You guys always drop the like for me. You guys always hit the sub for me. And I see a lot of you guys being a notification gang. So I appreciate all you guys for doing that. I'm just going to ask that you guys would continue it. Drop a like for me. Hey, hit the notification so you guys don't miss a video. But man, let's jump into this one. I know, boys. I know. That was one take. Impressive, I know. But let, in all seriousness, let's get into the video. Uh, this is a game against a guy who maybe had been a little bit of an inferior opponent, but it gave me tr it gave me trouble, and I'm gonna try to show you guys my mistakes throughout the game as well as. And also, I wanted to mention to you guys, I have something big planned for May. Just be on the lookout for that. Just wanted to mention it. It's a gameplay. It's gameplay kind of news, uh, kind of idea type thing, but. Enough with that, let's get into the game. See here, he's starting on his first drive. He's he's a runner, man. You already know what runners like to do. They're gonna they're gonna run the ball until you stop it, and then they're gonna pass with simple, usually simple passes, where once they get their completion, they're back to the run. So you when you make them, you need to force them to pass, number one. And number two, when you do force them to pass, you have to make sure you get off the field because if you allow them to move the ball with that pass. They're back to the run again, and you just have to start basically all over. Right here, third and seven. Passing down. We forced him into it. We did a good job against the run. Now we need to get our stop. He goes to verticals, and we're all over it. We get ourselves a yick. We played the first possession perfectly. We stopped his run. We forced him to pass just like we wanted to do, and we got off the field. Right here, he came out in a little bit of cover two with a baseline press. That's not going to work. You already know I'm going to outside fade that every single time. You see here, he moved the guy back this play. He did a good job with that. I still tried to beat him deep uh, just to see if he was still in cover two because he, he moved his deep half down. So if it still was a cover two shell, I would have beaten him deep. But it was cover four, so I just hit my wheel route. Nothing wrong with that. Right here, nothing's really open. Just scramble and I'll throw the ball away. As always, man, if you guys don't have anything open, uh, there's nothing wrong with either one, throwing the ball away if you're outside the pocket or if you're in the pocket, taking a sack. A sack's better than an interception. You still have other downs to fight so that's those are the two things that I always recommend is throwing the ball away and taking a sack when when you have to right here we motion in a block we knew he was gonna send the dogs We're trying to find something to open and we throw a laser so at this point in the game here's what I'm thinking this dude's a runner I already forced him to, to throw an interception I just scored an easy touchdown I think I might have blow this kid all the way out that's what I'm thinking really and uh, and basically, he he shows me I should have been thinking otherwise. He comes out with a nice little pass right there, shows himself that he can, shows me that he can really pass the ball a little bit. That was the first and ten. He could have ran the ball, but he wanted to open up his passing game a little bit. I thought he did make a mistake though. He went right back to the run here, uh, but maybe that's what he's comfortable doing. So I'm not going to say it was a mistake. But if you th if you show you're able to pass, pass a little bit. And right there, he, he throws a nice little dot across the uh, to the sideline. So he's opened up his playbook a little bit doing a good job here because he, this is a really important drive for him if he doesn't get seven he's in big trouble because he's already down to stop in the score i get the ball at half and with the way the clock's working i'm gonna have the last possession of the half too so he's really in some trouble right there almost got rather unlucky uh we would have taken it though but we dropped the pick 
Third and 12. Big play here. We force him to pass. He goes to verticals again. And this time he's able to hit uh, Patterson in the, I guess you can call it like a little seam streak, but I don't know. I don't know exactly what that route was. I remember thinking during the game, I don't even know what that was. It looked like maybe it was Y curl, but who knows? Good dot by him. Great drive by him. Very important drive. And it keeps him in the game. Right here, we have nice little, uh, nice little play. We have Fade pushing back his deep blue. And we had a playmaker drag that he had to use her. So I'm thinking to myself, there's no way my cross is not going to be open. I had a Fade pushing back his deep blue. But I don't know what happened, what his zone played, why my, why my Fade didn't push it back more. But who knows? We throw ourselves an interception. I personally think that that was a little bit unlucky. I don't know how my deep, the deep blue didn't get pushed back. I thought I had a perfect play to make, to distract his user with my playmaker and throw the crosser, but it didn't work out for me. So instead of being in complete control of the game, I'm thinking about to blow this kid all the way out of the water. Now we're down seven and we're in a position where we need to go get some points. Right here, I go to the exact same play I did before. This time it works. The fade pushes back the deep blue, but Vic throws it out of bounds. So you guys know how Vic do. Vic giveth, Vic taketh away, and a lot of the time Vic just be selling. Right there, he sends the dogs at me. Great blitz by him. Good, good, well timed blitz, I should say too, uh, to pick uh, to force me into a third and twenty. Right here, I'm thinking just get half back, which is what I do. I force myself to a fourth and ten, and I really, really need a first down right here. And we have something open, and we get it. <laughs> we get, we get really lucky. I'm not gonna lie. So right there, I probably should have just taken my table route. He didn't have a flat. Take my table route, and that would have probably been a free 10 with a blocker from the corner route. Instead, I try to fit the corner route in. Now, I did throw a low ball, which is likely why his deep quarter dumbed out. But I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that was skill, guys. I'm not going to lie. That was lucky. So we'll take it. So we're moving the ball here. With 36 seconds left, I'm thinking touchdown here. I'm not thinking field goal. I have plenty of time. I just need to pick up my yards. And if I do have a short pass, I need to get out of bounds. But he sends a screamer. We don't we don't pick it up, and and we basically settle for three now. Like we're we're not gonna get seven. We we can chuck one up, but we're likely getting three here now, which isn't the end of the world. It's nice to get points, but it's it's definitely not it's definitely not what we wanted. We wanted seven. We wanted to get back that pick six that we threw, but we didn't get it. So all good. Doesn't matter, we're down 14-10. Now, this is an opponent that I said I felt was inferior going into the game. I'm not 100% sure. This dude could be really, really good. I just personally, from the way he's played, felt like I was the superior player. So all I need to do right now is just make sure that I go get seven out of the halftime and win this game. So we're down four here. Good defense by him. He's forced a fourth and five. But we go to our money play. And somehow Shannon Sharp gets bagged, my man. Now, I told you guys in the first corner, I felt like I got lucky when I when I threw the completion. Right there, I felt like I got unlucky. I feel like Shannon Sharp's going to beat a linebacker man-to-man -man on the corner route 9 out of 10 times, if not more so. Regardless, he got himself a stop. Now, we're in a position where if we give up 7, we're losing this game. This, If we give up 7 right here, we're probably not going to win. So I have to get real stingy, and I need to make sure I get off the field right here. So we have a third and six. We're forcing him to a passing down. We man up Deion Sanders on Ricky Williams, and he gets routed. You see me in the background. I was I was heated on that one. I thought we played perfect defense once again. Deion Sanders man up with a running back. I don't think he should ever, ever, ever get beat. But he did, man. So he gets a first down. He moves the chains, and he's one cl uh, step closer to a touchdown to finish this game off. We're going to try to get stingy right here, though. It's third and three. I need to get a stop. I'm manning up everybody to stop the run right here. I know he's going to the run. I man up the whole team. I know that looks like a run commit, right? It looks like a run commit. It's not. I have everyone manned up. I released videos on that earlier this year. That's how I stopped the run. I man up the team. They all become part of the run fit, and we get off the field. Now, there is nothing I can settle for other than seven right here. Three will not cut it. I have to get seven, and this is probably the most important drive of the game. I've really done a really good job of choking this game away, really. I really have. I mean, the beginning of the game, we got a stop. We got seven. We're thinking we're about to dominate him, and it's just turned around on us really bad. Right there, big time laser on third and nine. I had my out route open as well, but I figure why not take my larger chunk and pick up a first down. Right here, we hit our corner route. 
We try to go to that low ball we went to it before. Vic, like I said, be settling sometimes. Throws it right at his feet. Tough break here. Now, I am realizing, so I, told, I always tell you guys, I try to tell you guys my mistake. I am realizing this guy did blitz a ton, ton, ton. He blitzed a lot. One concept I almost never hit him with was my, I guess mine slash J-Wall, because I got it from J-Wall, set up where I hitch, hitch, out route across my three wide receiver side and nothing can guard the hitch in the middle because the yellows are going to guard the hitch on the left and see this is where I went to it in the red zone but he didn't blitz it in the red zone he was blitzing throughout the entire field though so I had so many opportunities to go to that that exact setup, exact setup right there and I didn't and that's just a mistake by me you need to be able to see what your opponent is doing blitzing me knowing I'm going to have those those quick quick five yard dots with room and space to, to rack catch and go get some yards after catch. That's something I didn't take advantage of and that's something I regret. And that's something I do in my own head a lot of the time when I feel like I should just be dominating a guy. If I feel like I should be dominating a kid, I often will just go, I want big chunks, I wanna hit my crossers, I wanna hit my posts, I wanna hit my streaks. I don't wanna take my five yard routes and that's silly. That's literally silly. Sometimes, no matter how good the caliber of opponent is, now this guy isn't bad. I thought he was bad, but he's actually like real solid from what, the way he was playing. He showed me he was better than I thought he was. However, if I'm playing someone, no matter their caliber, you have to take what they give you. That's the only way to win games. So that's a mistake I made throughout this game. But enough of my rant. We're back into a game. We're in 17-17 right here, guys. And there is two minutes to go. He's already in field goal range. I can't give up another first down. If I give up another first down, we literally lose. It's an automatic field goal and we're done. I have to get a stop right here. And we're going to get stingy. But he goes to a pass. I was surprised he went to a pass. And you know what? We got Lurk, baby. Big time pick right there. We much needed it, man. I was going to lose this game. I really think I was going to lose this game if he, kept, if he kept running the ball. But he went to the pass. Shoot, I'll, I'll praise him for it because we, we got a big time pick. Once again, he's sending dogs. I'm telling you guys, I made a huge mistake not going to that hitch, hitch, out route uh, setup because I could have picked up free, free, free yards all day. And I'm mad at myself for it right now, just sitting in. I don't know if you guys ever think back to a game like, man, I'm so mad I didn't do that. I'm really thinking to myself, I'm really mad that, that I didn't take these free yards. Because look at this, like look at my setup right here. I'm trying to only pick up big yards, but regardless, he tries to ran up, man up Randy Moss. That's a mistake on his end. All we need to do now is clock out, make sure we get our field goal, and we're going to win this game. I run backwards just to waste a little bit more clock. But, guys, we survived it. It was a tough game. That's how weekend league is sometimes. Sometimes you don't play your best. Sometimes the game doesn't go your way. But really today I think it was all on me. But we are able to fight back. We are able to win the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And take it easy, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace.